Ooh, what is poppin' fam? Spanik here, the coach of the New York Rangers, and this is WPL week number seven. We are taking on the OP Jellicent himself, our biggest fan, and the Toronto Leaf Storms, fellow compatriot of the ICBA. We actually faced him in ICBA last season and got completely destroyed, so hopefully looking for some retribution in this showdown against him here. And just a brief rundown of the team we brought. We have Z Hail Kiram. We have typical Life Orb Sharpedo. I believe that's an Assault Vested Tangrowth. I could be completely wrong. Spidef Mudsdale. Dragon Ants Flygon. And just a Wall Breaking Mega Gardevoir. Because I feel that could really do some damage to whatever team, what team he has here today. And I was, I was really, really terrified of a uh, just the Savali in general. Because that thing... Excuse me, I, excuse me if I burp, because I just ate before I did this. So we have, um, like, he brought Cabal, he brought Cabalion, like, Mordor, Savali, like, Savali, Mega Deancey, Reuniclus, and Tornadus I, or T, rather. It's a very threatening team he has here, and I know Sohan, he's a good battler. So let us get right into this battle. Let us see if we could rebound after our loss last week to Nacho and the Detroit Terravolts. We need to really get back on track. I know this is a really rough patch in the schedule as we have Nacho, then Sohan now, then um, next week we have to take on Ryan and the Pittsburgh Steelers, who is who was currently who is currently undefeated as I'm recording this video, and then Matt O'Shea, who's always been uh, who's a very very good battler. So hopefully we can net out a dub in this rough patch. I was kind of worried about this. I knew this patch of the schedule was going to be rough. So let's see if we could at least net out one dub. <laughs> so I opt to lead with my Muzzle as he decides to lead with the Tornadus. Which is completely fine by me. He just fires off his Shattered Psyche right away. As for Def, Mudsdale is just going to eat this up. Get some stamina boost. Fire off a Rock Slide and do some big damage to the Torn. He just U-turns here, getting me another stamina boost, as I he just goes out into the Reuniclus, as that just gives me my rocks. I just EQ here, he does a ton, because Reuniclus doesn't have the greatest Fizz Death, as he's going to Psychic, I'm going to pop my Ayapapa here. So now I just keep firing off Earthquakes, I really don't need Mudsdale this game, E-Ball actually doesn't end up killing me, so I can just fire off another Earthquake here, and he lets the Reuniclus go down, which was really, really, really good, because I was terrified of a Trick Room set. So it goes to the Yancey as I opt to just sack my Mudsdale here. No point keeping it around. As I go out into the Tangrowth, as he goes back into the Tornadus here, as I, I just Giga Drain, as it does a decent amount, 17. He did ED Fogs, which is actually pretty, pretty big. I EQ'd predicting the, uh, I EQ'd there predicting the Cobalion to come in. So now I go out into my um, Gardevoir as I take a boatload from that Hurricane. So I'm going to be able to Mega Evolve here as he U-turns out into the Cavalion. As he does get the... E as I just side shock here on the Cavalion, do some decent damage to it. I'm ki I was kind of worried about this thing being like a special se special combine variant with Shookaberry. But I just Dragon Dance in his face anyway as he goes out into Savali, which is Savali Fairy. Which is actually pretty, pretty bad for my um, Flygon. As he's able to Parting Shot here into the Tornadus. Parting Shot's really going to be annoying this game, as he does have potential set up with the Cabalion, the Deancey, and the uh, Magmordar. Hurricane is going to be able to take me out, unfortunately. As now I just go out and I carry him, and I think it's time to set up the Z-Hail, because I do have an opportunity to set it up here. As I do get the Z-Hail off, and I just fire off Earth Power here, which is able to kill the Cabalion. I was worried about that thing being Shookaberry, but I clicked it anyway. I Ice Beam on the Savali, and I get the Freeze, which is actually pretty big, because this was a Savali Fairy, meaning I think I died to two multi-attacks if he's like a Fizz Death variant, but the Freeze is actually big, and so I do get, he doesn't thaw first turn, he thaws here, and goes to the multi-attack, which actually two wouldn't have killed me, but I was more worried about him, maybe he party shots, I Earth Powered there, in case he went into like Magmordar or something. As now he goes into the anti I Earth Power, and I do able to get the roll to kill it. As now Mac Mordar comes in, I Earth Power. Take him now, take him now well over 75. Citrus Berry is not enough for him to get the Belly Drum off. He did tell me he did have Mach Punch on this thing. The crit did not matter there. He did tell me he did have Mach Punch on it, which could have been really, really scary. 
But as you can see, we are able to come back and take a win against the OP Jellicent himself and the Toronto Leaf Storms on the heels of Kieran Black, just on the heels of Kieran Black picking up some nice freeze hacks and running through his team. So GG to so GG to Sohan. We are now currently one and one zero life one and one with zero differential lifetime against uh, Sohan, as uh, he beat us 4-0 in ICBA. Unfortunately. I don't play Sohan in ICPA this season, so we can't have a rubber match yet. <laughs> but we'll see what happens in future leagues. So anyway, Spanik out, and I will see you guys next week as we take on Ryan and the Pittsburgh Steelers, a fellow of team also that's really, really high on the uh, record scale. I believe he's still undefeated going into... I don't think he played his week... Um, seven game yet as I'm recording this so he's he's still undefeated as I'm recording this you'll see you'll see on Sunday when his game uh, goes up you'll see if he is undefeated going into our game or not so it's Panic I'll see you guys next week against Ryan peace